A few years ago, I was in St. Louis visiting a friend and I wanted to show him an artwork that I made. We went to the St. Louis County Library and I looked it up because I had listed it on eBay for several thousand dollars. As I was flipping through the screens and showing it to him and making the printout, a woman came up behind me. She was holding the printouts and I thought that was quick. And I, she said, sir, can I talk to you? And I said, sure, thanks for getting the printout so quickly. And she said, I'm gonna have to ask you to leave the library. This is obscenity. I said, what? It really took me by surprise. And she said, it's against our policy. I said, I'm a library science major and I can tell you now, this is not obscenity. It wouldn't pass any of the rules of obscenity. And I'm gonna contact the American Library Association to let them know what you're doing here, right in St. Louis. I was looking up my auction listings partly because suddenly it had gained the number of people who had looked at it. But two weeks earlier, when I put it up on a 10-day auction, it got 700 people who looked. The following 10-day period, it was listed in two unusual eBay websites, and suddenly it was up to 25,000 people by the end of that auction who had viewed this obscenity. Well, it's not an obscenity, it's a work of art. It's a work, one of my favorite works of art. And the thing I'm talking about is <clears throat> Tampon Mona Lisa, the bad babe of eBay. The librarian wasn't the only one to have a reaction to it. People would email me when I had the auction up there and asked me questions. Some of them were good and some were kind of negative. I had to give an answer. Here's some examples. Question. Oh my God, dude, are you retarded? My answer. What's up, dude? Does art scare you or sex? Question. Are the tampons used? Unused. Answer. Which do you prefer? Question. And this is my favorite. Sick, just utterly sick. What more is to be said? You should revel in your complete sense of depravity. A new limit has been reached. <laughs> Maybe use condoms next time. Just sick, congratulations. My answer. Thank you for your kind words on the tampon Mona Lisa. Utterly sick, that's a good pun. Yes, I do revel in my complete <laughs> sense of depravity. It's an honor few artists achieve. You point out that I've reached a new limit, and that really makes my day. I always strive for heights, but using condoms next time? I gotta agree with you on that one. That is totally sick. I think French ticklers would be a lot more colorful and certainly easier to work with, especially for a remake of Whistler's Mother. <laughs> um, two websites listed and depicted Tampon Mona Lisa. One of the websites appealed more to women and the other to men, and their reactions were quite different, too. From the women's website, here's a couple of their responses, with the name of the person, their screen name after it. Tampon George Washington would be cooler by Cats Love Her. Just when you thought you'd seen everything. I do agree. George Washington would be a great subject for tampooning. <laughs> Lulu. Do you think I could make a sailboat of maxi pads and sell it on eBay? Mom of Tom and Jim. You could make a gigantic yacht out of maxi pads and perhaps an ocean liner. Yellow Rose. And from the men. I didn't expect the unexpected when it came from eBay. And that tampon Mona Lisa seriously caught me off guard. Iron Man. That tampon Mona Lisa is scary as hell. Strider beard. That tampon Mona Lisa is really nasty. 
X Panther X. I don't understand how the Mona Lisa was the only thing that had any bids. Babes Bear. I fear Mona Lisa. Squishy. <laughs> well, I was wondering what the people who really provided me the materials for this would say about it, so I wrote, I emailed to the Tampax company. <laughs> and here is the Tampax representative's reply. Recently, recently, you requested personal assistance from our online support center. Below is a summary of your request and our response. Subject, Tampax artwork. Response, Ali. Hi, David. We appreciate you letting us know about your tampon Mona Lisa artwork that was made using Tampax tampons. That's so cool. I'm sharing your comments with the rest of the Tampax team. Good luck with the sale. Thanks for writing, Ali. Tampax team. <laughs> I appreciate responses like that. I mean, she was genuinely sincere. Not only have did I receive these responses, but I got four emails from four students from around the world. And they asked me what my, what my uh, aesthetics was and what I was getting at in these, in Tampon Mona Lisa and I wrote back the reply. They were gonna include it in their dissertations. I take the tampon Mona Lisa in two ways, seriously and humorously. It's a paradox. Some people like it, some people don't, and that's all that matters. People respond to the tampon Mona Lisa. I like to do works that get responses. And I would also like to find a home for tampon Mona Lisa because I could not give it as much care as a museum. If you know of a museum or a collector who would like to talk to me about it, my email address is drabc26 at aol.com. God bless you, Mona. I hope you're not catching a cold.